There have been chorus of public indignation ever since the story broke out. We've tried tirelessly to engage the man, the center of the controversy, Alex Pokumensan, just to get a side of the story. And indeed, if he has regretted from the alleged action he engaged himself, but I'm told he's been summoned to Accra. We will not be satisfied with that apology. We want him to personally come to the facility. That's the decision of management, actually. We want him to come to the facility, write official apology, brought to, be brought to us, and then we, will, we might then accept that one. Now, the hospital has a daunting task in building doctor nurse harmonious relations and that for now will be the focus of the hospital according to the medical superintendent dr hussein we as management because these two uh, uh, ladies are working with us and they are our staff the doctor and the nurse we don't want any friction between doctors and nurses we know it is a very unfortunate situation had it not been for the father, this situation wouldn't have degenerated to the level that it has gone to. He also tells me, currently, the doctor in question and the nurse who was verbally abused by the doctor's father are currently receiving some psychological support. I met them in my office with management and we resolved the issue amicably. But we thought that the nurse is psychologically stressed as well as the doctor. So we've given them some time off so that they can have a psychological support. Then again, he dispelled what he called a fake news. And this is how he went about it. There are other publications talking about uh, the doctor prescribing wrongly. I saw some indicating that a diazepam uh, 200 or 120 milligram prescribed three times a day by the doctor. We don't know where this is coming from. Because the doctor is working in an adult surgical ward. Doctor is not working in children's ward. So William Evansinkum, TV3 News, Kumasi.